Hey guys, today's project is to build a little stereo preamp using this ECC83 tube. I believe that's the European designation for a 12AX7. Identical tubes, dual Hymie triode. Breadboarded it here. The stuff over here is not part of the circuit. All this over here is part of the stereo preamp circuit. Why would you build this thing? Well, I'm just doing it for fun, tear it down when I'm done, but um, if you ever have one of these music players and you connect it to a stereo, you notice that you have to turn it way up and turn the stereo up because the sound level or the signal level from the headphones is not as high as line level and uh, you have to crank it up a lot more relative than you would to a uh, turntable or a tape deck so that's one reason and some people claim that tubes have a so-called warmer fuller sound well I don't know about that but I'm gonna do a little test with this thing see how it sounds uh, one thing about this is it's low voltage there's no high plate voltage supply. It's all done with a 12 volt battery. So I have this lead acid battery I use with my solar panel. And I will connect up the supply. Well, let me get the music player going first. And it's going. Connect it up. And I'll take a couple seconds here for the tube to warm up. There it goes. Well, that sounds pretty good. Of course, this camera is not going to show that, but I think it sounds good. And uh, I guess we'll move on, take a look at the schematic now. Well, here's a schematic of one channel of that preamp. I won't describe everything to keep the video shorter, but I had to do a little bit different thing here with the bias to get this to work. Normally, you have about 100, 150 volts on the plate. And the electrons flow pretty freely from the cathode. So you have to put a small negative bias on the control grid to reduce that flow. Well, with only 12 volts supply, and we'll have about 6 volts on that plate, I had to put a small positive voltage instead of a negative voltage to make the tube conduct. Because that control grid is so close to the cathode, it actually attracts electrons from it and gets them accelerated and they go over to the plate. So I use this, these two resistors acting as a voltage divider to set my my bias voltage on that control grid. And the rest of it's pretty much like an ordinary tube amplifier. I did use a 22K plate resistor to reduce my output impedance somewhat. Now I wanted to check the performance of the amplifier. I injected a 1 kilohertz pure sine wave tone, recorded the output of the amplifier, and this is a spectral analysis of, the, of that output. So you can see there are some harmonics generated. And I did some research, and of course they're non-technical terms, but what people are calling the musical or warm sound of a tube amplifier or really any amplifier is the low order harmonics that are generated. Low order harmonics are simply harmonics generated near that fundamental. So with the one kilohertz tone the next possible harmonic would be an even harmonic at 2000 because they're frequency multiples and the first odd harmonic would be at 3000 and then another even one at four and so on and so forth. Well, this is our fundamental 
spike there at 1000 Hertz of the actual tone but here's our first harmonic at 2000 if I get the cursor on there right the peak shows at 2000 Hertz and it's 48 dB down so now it's there but it is quite a bit lower than the fundamental I haven't actually done a listening test so I don't know if that's really that audible or not I mean it is 48 dB down and the odd harmonic here is at 3000 Hertz 60 dB down that's pretty low and the next spike is 4000 at 80 dB down which is probably not audible at all in between those is just noise floor which is very low at around 104 or so db down now i'm getting a peak over here it's at 60 hertz and at 62 db down i think that's because this circuit is you know it's not shielded at all and probably picking up some ac hum so that's probably what that is. Well, if that musical or so-called warm sound are truly the harmonics or low order harmonics, this tube certainly has them, but again, they are quite low. Hey guys, today's little project is a stube, a stube? 